It happened February 20th of 2006. Um, we started a motorized patrol from our coalition base to our Iraqi Army Battalion. I was looking to the rear. I remember hearing a pop and, and seeing a, uh, a flash and thinking to myself, well, you know, what the hell was that? And then split second later, I was like, oh man, we just got hit with an IED. <laughs> They've been with me since day one. Uh, you know, when I woke up um, one one morning after I finally got out of ICU, uh, my wife was sitting there reading a book, and uh, there's this backpack sitting next to her. They thought of everything. You know, they thought of the little things that you need, from a razor, toothpaste, and you know, they had playing cards. So my wife and I played a lot of cards and CD player, and um, it came in handy, especially the CD player. You know, at two o'clock in the morning when you can't sleep and can't move, about the only thing you can do is push a button. Uh, it, it, it helped a lot. You know, they, they're all over. They're in all the hospitals. When I got to, to uh, Brook Army Medical Center in Texas, they have a, uh, a couple of guys that work there every day where they basically will fund a weekly trip to different places for all the, the amputees, um, and some of the burn patients that can get out, and uh, they want you to get out into the community. Uh, the Cornerstone family would like to present to the Wounded Warrior Project a check for $30,000.